So what up everyone, it's Keaton Singh and I am back with a brand new video. So yes, I am seated differently today. The whole proportion of everything is so different to how it usually is. Well, that's because I am tired. Anyway, let's get to the review of the Mandalorian episode or chapter titled The Prisoner. So this chapter was very much like the last two. It didn't really progress the main story itself, but instead it did be a better job basically than the last two episodes in the fact that we actually learned something new about the Mandalorian, the people that he used to hang out with, and hence the person he used to be. So we know that he used to be more of a killer that he actually betrayed some people. So he wasn't always this honorable man who would um, go around and save something like the child. But what we do know now is that he has grown in that sense that he's left that kind of life behind. And that was all before he joined the guild as well. So it's very interesting to see that. This episode also has some really good moments of action. The really cool shot is when um, the Mandalorian is appearing behind that bold guy with like three guns or whatever. I don't know any of the character names. Um, that's one other thing about this episode. A lot of these episodes have one-off characters who are really forgettable. Um, and yeah, these characters were no different, but that was a really cool shot when he's appearing in and out of the light and whatnot. Um, so there were just a few issues with this episode as a whole, and I'm going to get through those and just let this review be done because there's not too much I want to talk about per se. Uh, but some of the things were that the New Republic uh, X-Wings were wild cool to see. Um, the cameos of the directors and everything, Dave Filoni and everyone else, was a bit too distracting. It's cool to see... Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice to see in the end, it's just a little distracting. The fact that the X-Wings also blew up the whole station, um, by the looks of it. It's like blowing up the one gunship, I can understand, obviously it looks like a threat coming their way. But then they just proceed to just destroy the whole thing. Um, it's a bit much, especially considering the books and whatnot. Talk about how, um, the New Republic is not really military focused. And that's the whole reason why there's the resistance in the first place. Um, but, you know, it's just interesting to see uh, i just question it a little it's also interesting how the mandalorian is willing to let the whole space station get shot and blown up possibly killing a bunch of people um when he wasn't willing to kill the three people that attacked him those three people he worked with and i honestly thought he did at least kill the devil looking guy um clancy brown's character because i thought he got smacked in the head from two doors coming like that apparently not um, otherwise, the Twi'lek, female Twi'lek, um, she was a bit too vampirish at times. I can get you doing it once or twice, maybe, but it happened a bit too often. Other than that, I enjoyed the banter, I enjoyed the dialogue, I enjoyed the action. Um, it was a good type of um, filler episode in this sense, because I don't really think this is filler, because we learned something about the Mandalorian, and that's enough for me to justify this episode being a good episode. Along with that, the action, the world building, um, regarding the whole New Republic prisoner transport, and some of the things of how people operate outside the guild, and everything like that, it was, you know, good to see. And also, we now have the Mandalorian having more credits, which could obviously mean that he can pay for more things in the next two episodes. But overall, I really do hope that this show starts to go into the direction of focusing more on the child and the Imperial, so that way we can one, know how the child is being tracked, and two, know why he was being, you know, tracked in the first place, why he was needed by the Imperials, because that is the overall story, and a lot of these episodes haven't really tackled that. But nonetheless, let me know what you thought about this episode itself, while I thought it was good, not great, but it was just enjoyable, and definitely better than the last two episodes. I do hope that the next two final episodes of the first season really blow me away like episode three did. But let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see us.